right, let's see, man. It's already over. This is tri <laughs> This is crazy. There's people around, so I can't scream. But y'all know how I get down. Do it, man. This is crazy, man. <laughs> listen, listen. Welcome to Minidito. My name is Jimmy Lopez, general manager at Minidito. And you are currently watching Next Level with Michael and Shane. My name is Jimmy Lopez. I'm a third generation uh, member of the family uh, that's been working for Minerito Restaurant for 51 years. Uh, my grandparents, my father, now it's myself and my brother Ernie are running the business. So uh, just a brief history of how it started. So I want to take you back to 1952 and none of us were around in 1952, but that's when the argument started between a tortilla factory or a restaurant. Of course, my grandfather wanted the tortilla factory, my grandmother wanted the restaurant. So now we know who won that, <laughs> that argument, <laughs> won that which I think it turned out for the better. Right, yeah. I think the restaurant uh, was the better choice. So, and the rest is history. So we are here now, 70 years later. You know, when they first opened, they opened up with uh, 12 little tables up in the front and a uh, small little kitchen. And uh, it was, they could see 12 people. And over the years, they ex expanded. They brought it up to 60 people. And uh, 32 y years later, we expanded again. Now we can sit 90 people, still not very big, but it's perfect for these economic yeah. times that's yeah. going on now. Yeah. But uh, I mean, it's, it's, we've had struggles. Uh, my grandmother told me, gave me a story that the first two years they opened, uh, they almost shut down because there was hardly any business. And back then it was a dirt road and you know a lot of people didn't know about it. Yeah. But they hung in there and I'm glad they did. Uh, they came this close, she said, to closing up the restaurant. But they hung in there and they kept it going. So, and, uh, and the rest is history, like I said. I mean, you know, we've been uh, very proud of this place. Uh, you know, our, our cuisine is uh, mostly Sonoran food. Uh, it's incorporated with Southwestern cuisine from here in Arizona. And uh, we're very popular with our chimichangas, our shredded beef, which is birria. Uh, we're known for our chili rellenos, our enchiladas. So we have a w wide variety of food that the general public comes for. I mean, some people might come for our ground beef tacos, which are popular. Some people come for our chili rellenos. Some people come for, our, of course, the chimichangas. And, uh, and over the years, we've uh, had a good clientele. We've had generation after generation after generation of families come here. You know, I've met people that have been coming here since the 50s. There was a, a gentleman, well, he's passed, he's passed away now. His family has been coming here for, I think it's five generations. And we have many families like that. Many families, generation, you know, after generation, they come as babies, they grow up, they have their kids, and now their kids are coming. Right. Two, three, it's four amazing. generations, which is great. And I love to see that. I love to see that. And I like to see my customers come in, have a good time here, have them enjoy their meal. And uh, I like to see them satisfied when they leave with a full stomach. Other than that, I mean, you know, we just, Plugging away, we're gonna try and keep this thing going for as long as we can, my brother and I. Yeah, I definitely came here since I was little, since I can remember. Yeah? I was telling him, I said, it was either the flautas or the, the chicken flautas or the chimichangas. Yeah, the flautas are very popular too. You know, Jimmy, one of the things we definitely know is that there's been a lot of celebrities. Lots of people have been coming through here and visiting your guys' restaurant. Do you mind talking a little bit about that? Well, you know, word got around. I mean, we've been around, like I said, 70 years, and we've, I want to feel that we have a very good reputation. 
So a lot of the people that come in is by word of mouth. And these celebrities, uh, I guess they ask where they can have a good Mexican meal. So a lot of them have been recommended to Minidito. And you know, there's a lot of good places here in town. There's a lot of good places here with good Mexican food. And I wouldn't feel that we're in the top 10. I wouldn't feel we're in the top five. <laughs> you know? Right. But, uh, yeah. but they choose here, yeah. which is great. I mean, we've had Goldie Hawn, uh, Jim Belushi, Enrique Iglesias, Julio Iglesias, and, and, and many more. Willie Nelson. Uh, Willie Nelson was one of the first that I took a picture with. Because back in the day, my grandparents never had a camera. Right. Yeah. yeah. And my grandmother told me that they had uh, Tina Turner. Uh, and I believe she told me John Wayne. Back in the day. Yeah. Even when it was small. And that would have been great. That would have been a nice picture. Nice picture. Especially Tina Turner. Tina Turner, yes, exactly. Yeah. But the biggest one I, I have to say was uh, President Clinton. Yeah. Back in 1999. And this is where he sat, right here. The star right here is right where he sat. And he had a big entourage. Uh, a very exciting day. He was here for about an hour and a half. And he was very outgoing, very outgoing. He actually went to each table and said hi to everybody. That's great. He went in the back and said hi to the, the staff in the back. That really impressed me, you know. And he talks to you just like this, like we're talking. Conversation, you know, yeah. very personal. Yeah, and uh, that was one of the biggest, you know, we never thought president, in that, a sitting president. Yeah, yeah. not, a, not a running president, a sitting, yeah. yeah. Come to <laughs> Minerito, wow, that was a big honor. Yeah. Very big honor. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, President Clinton uh, sent Madeleine Albright here, the Secretary of State back then. Uh, she was here for her birthday. And that was an honor. Nice. Very nice lady, very sweet lady. Uh, plus he sent some other people down here on his recommendation which was great, I'll never forget that. And uh, we named a plate after him, uh, President Clinton plate. And uh, I had, uh, I made postcards. And nice. You give them out free to the customers. And I've made over 600,000 of these. Wow, and you give them out to the customers. Yeah. I've got about 10,000 left that I had in storage and we're starting to get these out. So about 600,000 of these. And uh, he got one of these, Clinton got one of these. So anyways, that was the biggest celebrity we've had. That's amazing. It's That's been an awesome. honor. You know, for celebrities who come here uh, and dine with us, I mean, yeah. you know, I appreciate that. Yeah. But you know what? Celebrities aside, I appreciate the locals. The locals that have made me Nidito. Yeah. Over the years, uh, generation after generation, those are the ones that have really, you know, made me Nidito, the public. Sure, we get a lot of tourists, but I have to say thank you to the general public for supporting us all these years. So you were talking about the presidential plate, right. which one of the things you were talking about us right. really trying some of that. Yep. Along with our chimichanga, you want to kind of talk a little bit about what's, what's on, on, what's presidential on presidential plate? Plate. Uh, the presidential plate? The presidential plate, it has a uh, chili relleno, a beef tamale, a chicken enchilada, a shredded beef taco, and a bean tostada. Five things. Actually, he ate more than that. But we could only get those five things on the plate. He had those five items, plus a side of beans, a side of rice, a tortilla, and two slices of a cheese crisp. So, and he actually ate it all. He ate the whole Just thing. Speaking a lot. <laughs> food wasn't that good. Cause that that came to a point like I know if you're hungry, you if it's yeah. food good, you're gonna eat it. You don't want to take it. And after he finished, I come to the table and asked if everything was okay. And he says, Yeah, do you guys have a bed back there so I, I can lay down? Uh, right. he put the sleepies on him. He said, I, I I feel like Porky Pig. He said, <laughs> you know, he, he had a good sense of humor. Good, man. Good. That's, That's awesome. awesome. since I was little, you know, always coming here. It's always lines out the door. And I know everybody, when I've talked about Minidito, they say, oh, I wonder if they'll ever, if they'll ever make it bigger or they'll, or, or add another location. What would you say to that? Well, another location, I don't think so at this time. Not with this uh, environment right now. Yeah. Uh, well, about 30 years ago, we thought about getting another location. Because, yeah. you know, I have, eight brothers and one sister, and we were kind of hoping 
at least one or two would get involved, but uh, they see how my brother and I work, and I said, no, that's not for me. Yeah. It's a lot of work to keep a, a successful running exactly. restaurant. A lot of weekends, yeah. a lot of hours, uh, especially now. Uh, but, and I don't blame them. Yeah. Uh, and, and I didn't push yeah. my kid to come and work here. And uh, because it's, it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. It's, it can be very stressful. And, uh, but, I mean, you, you never know. As far as expanding here, I think the back, the back dining room was the biggest we could do here. Okay. We can't expand anymore. Okay. Because we need more uh, property to yeah. do that. Yeah. And we're surrounded by this big property that, uh, you know, back in the days we tried to buy some, some of the property and it wouldn't sell. But, uh, but in a way, I like it this way because it's, yeah. it's nice and cozy and... Yeah. and uh, it feels like... It feels like, yeah, like the perfect word is cozy. Yeah. I feel like um, back where I'm from, the East Coast, a lot of like family-owned restaurants are nice and cozy. And yeah. um, we got a place called West Side, it's a breakfast spot. And it might be smaller than this, honestly. And they added outside seating, that was like their upgrade. But um, just it being homely and small like this, it just, it reminds you of like family and community. Yeah. And people like that. Yeah, people like that a lot. People like that. Yeah, for sure. And, and we cater to the general public. Rich people, middle-income people, yeah. uh, low-income people. Yeah, they all can get yeah. some food. Yeah, and, and I love seeing that. You know, sometimes in, during the weekend we'll have people coming in with suits and ties and stuff. Yeah. And during the weekend we'll have people coming in with shorts and stuff. So, you know, we'd like to cater to the general public, not just one certain type of right. uh, yeah. uh, uh, income people, you know? Yeah. But, uh, and, and it's been fun watching that. And there's one thing that we like to do. We like to give little kids lollipops that make them what yeah and i think i might have given michael a lollipop yeah you know yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and oh god it just makes their day yeah. you know and they look forward to it that's awesome man. we even have kids when they first come in before they eat they know where i have the lollipops my, you know i bring my kids and then they say oh eat the lollipop oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look just to that. Is, yeah it just seems like you guys did a great job you and your family did a great job establishing a tradition yeah, and and people and people like traditions, and that's and, and bottom line, yeah, you know, yeah, tradition, yeah. I and mean, it was a tradition here in Tucson. Yeah. I want to feel that. You know what to expect. You know, you know the and, quality. And we're well known. Yep. You know, back in the day when Clinton came, after that our lines started going up to three to four hours, and that's for several months. Ah, they kind of died down now, but uh, you know we've had people from all over the world, Japan. Uh, Russia, Spain, Trade. Europe. Uh, we get them from all over. Especially when the Jim and Mendel show is here. Oh, we yeah. We get people from all nationalities here. Great. And that's great. I like to see that. You know? Wow, I got to meet somebody from uh, Japan or Europe or, you know? And it's, and, and it's nice. I've enjoyed working here. Uh, there's been some struggles in the past, but uh, in the long run, it's worth it. You know? Got a lot of pride in this business. Good. Anything else you wanted to share? Well, I just appreciate Tucson. Uh, we're in South Tucson, which is a, a city within the city. Yeah. And uh, we really appreciate Tucson. And I don't think I'd live anywhere else. And as far as Benedito, we're going to try and keep it going as long as we can. Another 70 years? Yeah, I appreciate well, that, man. You know, uh, well, I've been doing this for 51 years. I mean, one of these days, my career is going to be over here yeah but uh, I want to do it before I get into that casket you know good yeah. but uh, yeah we'll continue giving out good food good service friendly atmosphere and uh, hopefully Tucson will keep on supporting us man. all right man yeah. I appreciate that Jimmy you right. got it it's it's nice Jimmy. you got it nice, nice talking, talking with, with you guys listen up you met Jimmy, amazing guy in our opinion. It's trying to get down to what we're really here for. All right, guys, so what's really interesting about this is that this is a place I've came to since I was a little boy. This is, this is my go-to when it comes to Mexican food. And so I'm excited to have Shane come over here. And anybody who knows me, always the jokes about the chimichangas, this and that with chimichangas. This is the chimichangas that I am talking about, so. Listen, I'm not even about to act like this food don't look crazy. <laughs> this place is a Tucson staple, so I'm so excited to try the food. So, just to get things started, 
I got me a plain chimichanga with bedia as my meat with some hot salsa over top of it. They gave me two lemons to squeeze on, and I got some lettuce if I'm feeling fancy. All right, what you got over there, Mr. Mike? All right, I got the bedia. I did try the uh, enchilada style, which I have tried before. It's really great, but I'm trying it a little bit more to be able to kind of show you guys. Usually, sometimes I do get it plain with some of the medium salsa with the bedia, but this is enchilada style with the bedia. Definitely worth checking out. And listen, we got something special <laughs> sitting in front of us, too. What do we got, man? The amazing Mr. Jimmy made us the presidential plate. So oh, wow. the history behind it, as you, if you got this far, you heard Mr. Jimmy talking about that pres the president ordered five of these items. He said he ordered more, but he get, but they made it into like a five. It's like, this is what they said they could fit on the plate. So yeah, like, I can oh, see man. the plate is packed. We got, it looked like we got a taco. We got a beet tamale. It's yeah. the taco, the enchiladas. Yep. And then... And it looks amazing. It looks amazing. It's great. So we're going to start with the... Oh, and they also have salsa, so... Chips and salsa. Chips and so salsa. if you like it, it is chili tepin base. It's got some kick to it, so you can enjoy a couple. But... Listen, all in all, got a horchata to wash gotcha. down this amazing food. All right. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's dig in. How are you doing, Bill? <laughs> How are you supposed to eat this thing, man? All right, man. So you take your fork, your knife, dig in, man. You just cut cut it in like a... Yeah, I just kind of cut that thing. You cut yours on an angle. I'm glad mine's straight across, man. There you go. There you go. So you guys can see if you've never been here before. Ooh, You can bedia. see it is packed with bedia. Bedia, for those who are uninformed, that is shredded beef. Shredded beef. All right, man, the thing is, is letting this, this trying to let hot. this thing cool down. It is, uh... Why is cooling down? No I'm gonna throw some of this. Throw some of this. All right, here we go. I'm gonna try this thing. Whoa, look, you can see the steam. Ooh. It's not playing. All right, Shane's going in for his first bite. Let's see, man, this is his first time from Delaware, and he's heard me, as he said. How do you put it, Shane? You heard me talk about Jimmy Chung. There's a sticker on my computer. <laughs> All right, let's see, man. It's already over. This is tri <laughs> This is crazy. There's people around, so I can't scream. But y'all know how I get down. Do it, man. This is crazy, man. <laughs> listen, listen. <laughs> the the salsa on top took it to a whole nother level. These are next level chimichangas, man. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm still in your spotlight, man. You talk about what you got going on here. <laughs> you got a lot going on. You you got the cheese melted on top. So I have some cheese on here and some of the queso fresco. So it mixed with this red chili. It makes this thing amazing. As we talked about chimichangas are deep fried burritos. So you got all that media. So if you love your love meat, you got your shredded beef in there. And then of course you have that red chili with the cheese. It almost, well, like it's called enchilada style. Tastes almost like you're eating an enchilada when you do it. I'll be honest. <laughs> yours, yours pre presentation wise, looks like it should be in the in the food picture hall of fame. <laughs> Cause that presentation is crazy. And all I know is this: I can't even. I'm speechless. For I'm stuttering and everything. I'm speechless. This is amazing, man. I'm going in for another bite, man. This is amazing. The end. If you guys are this far, side note, you'll be able to see how his chimichanga was made enchilada style from the start to the finish. So Absolutely. the process is even cool, like watching it. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So, yeah, man. Chimichanga, well, that's pretty popular here. And uh, we'll bring out some dishes so you guys can try so, it. So, question for me, I've never had one. Can you tell me what is a chimichanga? It's a deep fried bur burrito. Okay. It's a flour tortilla. We stuff it with beef or 
chicken or ground beef or or uh, we have one that's cheese and green chili, mm -hmm. you know, for people who don't eat meat. And then we wrap it up, we'll stick it in the deep fryer till it's crispy, nice and brown, then we'll pull it out. Okay. But it's, the burro is soft, the chimichanga is crispy. That's the difference. But, yeah, so just, okay. just look at it as a deep fried burro. Deep fried burro, yeah. okay. Yeah, it, it adds a little extra flavor when it's crispy, you know? Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's definitely how I always think about it. Yeah. Definitely. We tried the chimichanga. Now what we got right here? It's a lot going on. We have the uh, so we have the presidential plate. We have the beef somali. We have the enchiladas. We have a taco. So it's like it's three things out here. So I'm gonna try the taco, taco boat, and then the, and then the hard shell. I'm gonna grab them too. All right, that sounds good, man. So let me grab these two right, like cha. And listen, it comes with a good amount of lettuce, and so I'm gonna grab this right here. Oh, she trying to fall apart on me. Uh uh, <laughs> uh uh. Come here, come here. Ah, and there you go, man. Plate's all yours. You don't even need the extra plate. Right. All right, so it looks like it's some. All right, I got, got beans. Man? So okay, okay, so that one must be a tostada. Okay, I got a tostada. All right, so I got some beans and you got a taco. Got something to tell y'all? I do eat cheese if I'm eating a taco, just a little bit. <laughs> I'm about to bite Spoiler this thing. Alert. Spoiler alert! I'm about alert, to bite dude. this thing, so y'all about to be surprised. It's cheese all in it. All right. Mmm. Now I'll tell you, man, being here, I've I've really, I've really only had like their cheese crisps, their flatas, and their chimichangas. So this is really interesting. <laughs> Did it get I'm on you? I gave you some extra napkins. Where? Um, over to the left of your plate. Oh man. Listen. Oh, this is a rano. What I just eat again? A tortada? So you ate a tostada. What tostada? How was your tostada, man? Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> See? All that cheese is not supposed to be in me. All right, so. How was your tostada? The tostada was very good. It was flavorful. I'm going to eat it like this now. All right, so this is a relleno. If you like cheese in your relleno, definitely cheesy, as you guys can see. Mmm. I like that. So what, what's going on with that? Like, what is all that? What's all in there? Okay, so the Ranos have green chili in them. It says some cheese in here, and it's uh, and it's a certain kind of batter, and it's got the cheese on top. So I mean, if you love cheese, and you love chili, you love Ranos. The chili's not too hot, but I'm okay with that. Tastes great. Take a bite here. This is a hard shell taco with some uh, some beady in it, lettuce, and some of the uh, some of the salsa. All right, man. What do you think of the taco there? <laughs> this thing is top tier right here. The beady of the meat, the beady of meat just makes everything to get, like come together so perfect. Told you, man. That's good. Okay, so it has some uh, chicken enchiladas. Ah, uh, I know what a chicken enchilada is. That looks good. So you got the tortilla. Mm -hmm. You got the chicken. Mm. The president must have been hungry, man. There's a lot of food. This, he said this wasn't everything. This is, and we're sharing that. It. It's crazy. And then the beef tamale. So you guys know tamales. You guys don't have to wait till Christmas. Come, come get one over here. Mm. You good? The same kind of red sauce that's on your enchilada style. This is your ideal plates, man. If you're coming to get some good food, listen. Wanting to come get some good food. If you want some good Mexican food, you gotta come over here to Mini Ditos. Now, we got a disclaimer for you. You better arrive. They open at 11. You might want to get here about 10:30, cause it'd be lines. Wrapped around, wait for them to open their doors. And guess what? And we're not lying about that either. <laughs> Listen, so 
And also, don't forget about this horchata. It's fresh. It's not too sweet, not too bland. It's a perfect amount. Man, so. All right, man. You brought me here finally? Go ahead, ask me. <laughs> so what did you think, man? How did you feel about the chimichanga? You've been talking these chimichangas up since February of last year, since I met you, man. <laughs> and I understand why you use it on a daily basis. For everything, I might become a chimichanga man. <laughs> this food, this is good Mexican food, man. I'm sure it's other, we've been to a lot of other great places, but it's just something different about the vibe in here, the food, the energy. It just makes stuff like that that much better. But that chimichanga was a 10 out of 10. <laughs> How you feel, man? I know you've been here 94,000 you know times. I've been here 94,000 times, just as Shana said. But I got to tell you, the chimichanga never gets old. Never gets old. I never feel like, oh, I've had too much chimichangas. Right. The chimichangas here, this is where I hold every other chimichanga to. And let me tell you, I've not really found any rivals yet. No rivals? Right. Hey, sometimes <laughs> it's OK to be elite in a league of your own. And we can say Min Mineditos Chimichangas is in a league of his own. Definitely league of their own. And like I said, I tried some of the different things that I've never tried before. This was Shane's first time. And I can yeah. tell you, all of these things are great. I would definitely, if the chimichanga didn't have such a tug on my heart, you I, I could up? definitely come and order these. You, switch, be, you get the presidential? I could be pleased with this, man. But these chimichangas, come find out for yourself. All right, listen, man. Come on down to Mini Detos. Bring your family. If you come alone, you might have to sneak and you might get in trouble. If you got a family, bring your family. I hear when you're talking about you guys, history, it's like all about family. Right. right. My thing is, when a lot of families come in here, what is like the what is like the one thing you want them to walk away with when they when they sit down from the time they walk through the door to the time they leave? Like, what is what would be the top thing in your opinion you, you want them to walk away with? The customers. Yep. I want them to come in here and, and have a good meal. I want them to leave, I want them to be, well, you know, we don't have any entertainment, no music, live music, but, but I want them to come and have a good time. I want them to enjoy the atmosphere, which is very friendly. And I try to stress that on my employees, my wait staff, my bus people, my host, my cashier. Uh, we want to keep it as friendly as possible. Uh, we'd like to cater to families. And, uh, you know, Sundays we get a lot of families in the morning. Uh, but I want them to leave satisfied here and here. Yep. You know, I, I Heart in the stomach. I like that. Heart yeah. in the stomach. <laughs> we want to give a special thank you to Jimmy for letting us come come into his restaurant and enjoy some of his food. He sat down and talked to us, gave us a little history. We definitely, I definitely appreciate that, man. Yeah, you can see it's almost like Jimmy invited us to his home. That's the way this feels because yeah, it's just, man. it's that kind of setup here where it definitely feels like he said cozy, but it also feels like home. It feels like you're, like somebody, like your family just cooked up some great food for you. It says sit yeah. down. It says sit down. Don't worry about nothing. All right, we sit got it. Sit down and enjoy it. Man. Enjoy it, man. <laughs> Listen, all we know that if you made it this far, Thank you for watching, but it's time for us to go. But before you leave, make sure they what? Like, comment, and subscribe. You'll never know what we'll end up at next. And make sure you tell Jimmy that Michael and Shane sent you. We'll see you on the next one. We also have some salsa. They start you out with the salsa, so I'm gonna take a dip of this first one. You know what? I gotta tell them funny. <laughs> this tastes like five star tomato sauce. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, now that's a medium salsa. I, I recommended it because at first Shane was thinking about maybe doing his uh, chimichanga plain. And I told them it is pretty good with it. It's basically, like you said, five star it's tomato like five sauce. It's like five star tomato sauce. But, it, but it's really good. That's why, that's why I order it personally. But their salsa, man, their real salsa, this is what you get. Comes out with your chips when you come to visit. 
That's good. You got a little tang on it, but it's like it's like a it's like a three second tang. That's good. Good chips. Good chips and dip. So you can get both of these sauces on top of your chimichangas. Mm. No. No, this is a different red chili that they put on here. Yeah. This is just salsa. Okay, so there it is. You only can get this with the chips. Now, you could get a spoon if you really like it. And and you drop, drop it on the it all yeah. over your food. Yeah. But I'll tell you, make sure you guys got your horchatas ready. Make sure you got your water. Because after a while, that heat picks up. It picks up quick. That first time, like you said, a little tangy. Yeah. But it, it picks up. Back in 1952, right here is where the kitchen used to be, right here. And they had four little tables, and that was it. Over the years, when they added this dining room, we added four tables here so people could actually eat in here. So over the years, when we did the final expansion, the final dining room, uh, we converted this, this area here into a waiting room, which has really helped, you know, really helped. People will sit in here, they'll have a good time, they'll drink, they'll order some drinks and uh, just have a good time, you know? So, and over the years, I look at this and I says, wow, how did they do it back then? How did they do it back then? But they did. There used to be a little sink here. My, my, grand, my, my father used to wash dishes here. He used to have a little stove. This is where my grandmother would make small portions of food. And over the years, now we make big portions, but using those small recipes, we've expanded them. So, you know, a lot of, a lot of changes. Not really big changes where we're a, a, a big restaurant, but it does the job, you know? Does the job. Hello, welcome to Minidito. I'm Jimmy Lopez, general manager at Minidito. And don't forget to watch Next Flick with Michael and Shane. Thank you, Jimmy. Is it I net Netflix? It. What's that? I said Netflix. You said Netflix? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Next level? Oh, let's do it again. Oh, okay. <laughs> Next level. Next level. You gotta do it again. All right. I said Netflix. <laughs> Next level. <laughs> you ready?